Hey traders, this is Jeff with ZenTrader.ca. Uh, I want to start with tonight's market analysis, or rather this morning's. I'm going to post it uh, a couple hours before the open. Uh, with a 60-minute chart of the NASDAQ showing the timing signal that I offer for free on, on ZenTrader.ca for the NASDAQ. It gave a buy signal here. It gave an add to signal. It, it's not at the lows. It's like more. It's it's more right there. I don't want to make it seem like I. It was actually like around just under 31.50, and then it actually uh, did go up, came back down, did not did not flip. That th that remained a buy, and now we're quite a bit higher from there. So this turned out to be a pretty good, pretty good buy for the trade was end subscribers. Uh, I want to show you where the Dow signal actually issued a buy. It was like right here. So more or less went down, up, and then down. And that remained a hold all through that. So this was the only buy signal on the Dow that we had ever since the, my timing signals turned bullish on the on the Dow. They do turn at separate times uh, in terms of, you know, I, I cover the, the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the TSX. All, the, all of those are included in the Trade with Zen membership. Uh, a lot of people are calling for a top here, and I just I don't get it. I don't understand why people want to, you know, just because the market's gone up. If you look at this chart, I don't even see a market that's overbought, really. Uh, one of my really simple indicators is when the four EMAs above the uh, X, um, the uh, the Keltner channel. That's not the case right here. It's not the case like that on the on the Dow, although it's close. And when you come back here and look in uh, the first month of the year, you can see that it can even remain outside there for an extended amount of time. In fact, it often does. This is just more like the warning that, hey, you know, we're starting to get a little overbought here, but that's not a signal to to get short. In fact, if you look at the ADX and the, and the positive DI line, DI line until it actually crosses the ADX, that's not, that's... Uh, until it crosses, you shouldn't even be shorting. So you could be like, okay, here the uh, the four EMA is outside the upper Keltner. Okay, it's time to consider start to t take some profit uh, when this positive DI crosses through. Not until when, uh, and that essentially signifies that the trend is stalling or over. And you can see how it did essentially just stall for the next uh, four weeks. Okay, uh, the three line break chart uh, has is taken out these new highs this looks bullish uh, the VIX volatility has just been sucked out of this market and it's not even at the uh, the lows of last month in, in January so it's not even like the VIX is at levels that are you know pretty much bang on for a market to correct it's just you know I I, would, I talked about this on Twitter a little bit today I was a you know I, I get frustrated when I see a lot of people who you know call market tops and whatnot like you can't pick market bottoms I don't know why people are trying to pick tops uh, it's it's very difficult so until I start to see some warning signs you know I think this is this is a, a market where you pick and choose your entries uh, you know, it's it's okay to hold. You know, if you have a timing signal and it gives you the confidence to hold, it's okay to hold some some shares in the ETFs. Uh, but just staying out because the market's too high. This this can continue for a while, and the more that it continues, the more frustrated that a uh, trader can be because they're not participating in a, an advancing market. So I wanted to touch upon TLT and TBT. Uh, I've been bearish on TLT. I think maybe a lot of people might have thought that this this was going to be it. it. It meaning the the move that snaps it out of this downtrend. You can see we're kind of just falling right back into it. We've kind of stalled right around the 60 on the RSI. Uh, and, and actually, when you look at TBT, it's kind of like in reverse. Now, if I was long TBT, I would be selling into this move. That doesn't mean that I think that this move is over but there is some resistance here and until it actually makes a new high just like in TLT if I was short I'd be set I would I would be covering into this move because until it makes a new low it's this is this is questionable